I mean, you're just 20 and you're thinking of when you're 50, when you're 30. hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl teresa if you're new here hey girl hey guy welcome to this channel so today we're going to be talking about contentment how you can be contented it's something i still struggle with being that i'm still growing up i mean everybody still struggles with contentment because contentment is actually a very strong word it's a state of being emotionally satisfied like this simply means like you're you're satisfied from inside it's not just physically or saying it verbally i'm i'm okay with this i'm okay with that no you're actually genuinely satisfied you're happy a state of happiness you find happiness where you are at the moment you're you're comfortable you're fine it's not something you just accept physically people just say it verbally but deep down they are not happy so contentment simply means you being happy from the depths of your heart like in-depth happiness this is actually very emotional from your mental state so if you're not happy if you're not contented rather you won't be happy you just you could just admit it to people that oh my god i'm so happy but deep down inside you you're not happy so contentment is actually an emotional state of satisfaction like comfortability deep genuine comfortability so we're going to be talking about steps or ways you can be contented in yourself the first step we're going to be talking about is focus on the positive and in the present more like for instance now we tend to focus more on like oh my god i'm wondering what my future is going to look like i'm wondering oh will i get this thing done will i get this house by the time i'm 25 will i get this house by the time i'm 50 when i'm 50 what will i be doing no I mean you're just 20 and you're thinking of when you're 50 when you're 30 we should try to enjoy the present which we are living in and focus on the positive that comes with it yes a lot of negatives do come with this present but we are going to have to focus on the positive part of it because when we are focused on the positive part of it it gives us more light it enlightens us it gives us more hope we feel like we we are doing well you, you don't have to push it it's going to come with time so when you focus on the present it just makes you feel a lot better that is one you just have to focus on the positive and also the present instead of dwelling in the past or worrying about the future thinking of oh my god this could have gone this way i mean it happened yes whatever happened happened and that is that so we are going to have to focus on the present and not dwell in the future or dwell in the past now that is one another one is live within your means please i mean we all are in the gen z world right now and there's a lot of things happening there are lots of trends we have to meet up we feel we have to meet up not necessarily that we have to meet up but we feel like we have to meet up these trends it's just because in our head we're like okay because i'm in the gen z generation so i feel like this particular trend is what i'm supposed to be doing it may not be what suits us or what we're happy with but because we find that our mates doing it or the gen z doing it so we feel like okay we're going to have to do it but no we start living outside of our means to do for you to be contented you just have to live within your means what you can afford what you can get you don't have to break the bank to get everything i mean there are some there are some things or some things that people do that we could do it this way but because we see that this is what everybody is doing we want to do it that way so if you could live within your means i feel like you you'll get you'll be happier you'll be more contented you feel more relaxed because you're not pressured to do anything second step is going to be cultivating a grateful attitude and optimistic outlook for things so now when you have a grateful attitude or you're being optimistic trust me manifest things it works like you being grateful you having or cultivating a grateful attitude or being optimistic towards things is really going to help you to be contented because what i do is um even if things are going they're going south and i know fully where they're going south i'll just keep 
an open mind or be or keep being optimistic and you keep hearing me say things like oh, it's going to be fine like it's going to be fine deep down i know that okay, there's really no way there's likely almost no way but deep down i know that i'll just keep saying it's going to be fine in my heart and then i'll be like oh god please oh god please that is just it so you have to cultivate a grateful attitude and optimistic outlook for things now another thing we're going to be talking about which is very important i think that should have been the first one it's putting god first look if you put god first like every other thing is going to be easy pray that's what this basically means pray 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 because when you're not contented it has to do with you, your mental health like it's emotional so you just have to pray about it that's if you're a christian if you're not a christian it's still fine but i'll just say one thing i do is that i pray when i know that i'm beginning to be unsatisfied with myself or unhappy i, I just pray that's one thing i do i actually pray and ask god for like oh god please i really want to be contented with what i have right now i don't want to be looking at other stuff i don't want to so i think if you pray it's going to help you a lot another thing we're going to be talking about is and very 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 important is discipline god i can't share this enough discipline is really important like if you've disciplined yourself there's no amount of thing that is going on that is going to shake you from what you you believe in like for instance let's say for instance there's this thing that is trending up and down and everybody's going crazy about it but let's say you're you've disciplined yourself that okay i'm not going to spend a dime on this thing because i know it's not worth it there's nothing anybody's going to tell you that is going to make you change your mind so discipline is actually very important in being contented if you're disciplined you're going to be happy with yourself because you know that you're going to do what works for you and what works best for you is only what you're going to do so you need to be very disciplined with yourself not just to be contented you need to be disciplined with yourself financially every other way discipline is like a basic characteristic of life it really is important so if you're disciplined with yourself if you have discipline it makes things easier for you get contented with your things you get contented with what you do so that's like another major major point i would say next thing is spending time with supportive friends who make you feel good about yourself and still positive energy in you if you stay with people who are uh, who instill negative energy in you honestly it's not going to help you not being contented with yourself because they're just telling blessed beliefs in you that are going to make you go out of your way we need supportive friends in this kind of time we really need supportive family and friends because it's actually a trying time and it's an emotional stuff so you're going to need to spend time with people that make you genuinely happy or make you feel genuinely good if you see that there are some people who make you feel genuinely bad then i just feel like you should give them a break if possible cut them off totally it's really not easy like it is i'm all these things i'm saying to you it's not something i've lived and live past the contentment is a deep issue that you just can't live past because every day new things happen and as new things happen emotions move which is like a constant thing it moves up and down so contentment is something that everybody still deals with it nobody is bigger than dealing with contentment so contentment is very broad it's very deep. these are like few ways few tips i could give that will i say help me or work for me that's what i'm sharing with you guys i just hope this video was very helpful if you found this video very helpful please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to this channel and hit on the notification bell so get you notified when i post a new video so you guys i'm going to be dropping more tips on this if you want a part two let me know in the comment section below and i'm going to make a part two these tips i just gave are tips that i i still work with they actually are very very helpful like the prayer parts if you're a christian pick up your bible read check for check even if you check on going to see scriptures that help with contentment so you guys please let me know in the comment section below if there's a video you'd like me to make and i'm going to make it thank you guys see you in my next video bye